Hello my dear students welcome you all to the botany class in today's class we shall discuss about the taxonomic evidences from uh, palynology from uh, cytology from uh, phytochemistry and from uh, molecular structure okay hope you are all doing good at your health as well as your studies with that we shall start with the class that is taxonomic evidences in this ppt we have a uh, detailed information about uh, evidences from uh, morphology anatomy palynology embryology cytology phytochemistry ultrastructure and uh, genome analysis but uh, as per our syllabus we shall discuss only palynology cytology phytochemistry and uh, molecular structure right so taxonomic characters are taxonomic attributes that can be used to provide evidence from which relationship the phylogeny between the taxa are inferred means based on the characters the relationship will be determined okay maybe interspecific or intraspecific relationship between one species or other species will be determined okay morphology no worry anatomy no worry palynology third one the study of pollen and pollen spores if it is a lower plant we use the word spore if it's a higher plant like a gymnosperm and sperm we use the word pollen right so we shall discuss about a palynology next about fifth one cytology the study of structure and function of the cells means all about the cell structure and function sixth one phytochemistry that is the study of phytochemicals which chemicals derived from plants simply the chemicals present in the plants help in identification of the plant name plant species plant genus or any other higher category lastly we shall discuss about uh, the molecular structure that is genome analysis and uh, nucleic acid hybridization right so without wasting time we shall go one by one morphology don't worry about the morphology since it is not there in our syllabus simply morphology refers to the external appearance of the organism okay structure of root stem leaf flower in flower calyx corolla and racem gynesium like that right anatomy means the internal structure of the plant internal structure like a uh, arrangement of vascular bundle arrangement of the layer like epidermis hypodermis the xylem phloem etc includes under uh, the anatomy don't worry about this since it is not there in our syllabus third one very important uh, that is a palynology in relation to taxonomy palynology means study of a pollen grains right so the basic evidentiary characters are uh, pollen unit type then pollen grain polarity pollen wall architecture sorry pollen grain shape pollen grain symmetry pollen grain nuclear state like uh, uh, generic generative nucleus and vegetative nucleus pollen wall architecture like exine stratification thickness of exine exine structure exine sculpture design aperture type aperture number aperture means germ pores aperture position aperture shape and aperture structure all these aspects regarding the pollen grains help in identification of the pollen grain for example in uh, maglo magnolidae the pollen is nucleate in a uh, caryophyllidae the pollen is a trinucleate means the three nuclei like that okay so for example ericaceae the pollen is in tetrad next example in asclepiaceae pollen remain in pollinia for example the plant uh, calotropis you will study this when you come to class in uh, taraxacum carnum the pollen wall is uh, achinate then quercus the pollen wall is a uh, scarabret like that various plant species have various designs of the pollen right so hence the palynology help in identifying the species name right next one embryology don't worry embryology is simply the developmental stages of the plant starting from uh, the fertilization till the seed formation so every stage will help in identifying the plant species but now it is not there for our syllabus forget it then important cytology in relation to taxonomy cytology simply means study of cell 
cytology is the study of the morphology and physiology of the cell morphology of cell means external view shape size physiology means the processes taking place inside the cell that's physiology of the cell right and here normally the anatomists deal with the shape size wall structure pattern etc of the cell but the cytologist cell biologist deal with the internal organelles of the cell and detailed structure of a cell wall right and here uh, some evidential characters of the cell are chromosome number chromosome structure chromosome aberration uh, chromosome meiotic behavior blood level and type and chromosome all these aspects regarding the cell help in identification of the plant species right and here the cytological evidences is used for distinguishing taxa means to find out differences between two different species two different genuses two different families so we will take the help of cytological evidences right and uh, to determine the origin of groups and to understand the evolutionary history of related taxa particularly those at the intra specific and specific levels taxonomic taxonomically is a part of experimental taxonomy means the cytotaxonomy is just a part of a experimental taxonomy means it has not been completely successful and such studies are helpful in determining the categories of genus species etc generally in case of a controversy means if there is any small similarity if there is a small difference then it makes a controversy in such cases the cytological data will be used for distinguishing the two taxa two species two genus etc right so phytochemistry that is the chemicals based present in the plant phyto plant chemistry chemicals hence it is called a chemo taxonomy the science of chemical taxonomy or chemo taxonomy is based on classification of plants on the basis of their chemical constituents related with the molecular characteristics means whatever the chemical present that will help in identifying the plant species and here the chemo taxonomy includes two aspects investigation of pattern of compounds existing in plant means what pattern of carbohydrate what pattern of protein is there what pattern of lipid is there what pattern of nucleic acids are there rna dna like that so the pattern of chemicals will help in the identification of the species then second one investigation pattern of the compounds in plant parts like a bark wood is leaves roots etc it must be leaves not the is okay so means chemical present in different parts of the plant will help in identifying the plant species or distinguishing the plant species and the basic characters as evidence come from I mean for the chemo taxonomy the chemicals like uh, flavonoids terpenoids carotenoids polysaccharides alkaloids amino acids fatty acids aromatic compounds and the c3c4 photosynthesis data also help in the identification or differentiating the plant species and uh, the phytochemistry is popular just due to two aspects the development of rapid analytical techniques nowadays there are various techniques there is instruments just by taking a plant sample you can identify the chemicals name chemical structure molecular structure like that second popularity because of the belief that data from many sources should be employed for classification means data from chemicals various groups of chemicals can be used right ultra structure means simply the internal structure of the cell or the plant but it is not there in our syllabus leave it right lastly genome analysis and nucleic acid hybridization in relation to taxonomy simply the taxonomy in relation with the molecular structure means identification of the plant differentiation of the plant based on a molecular structure just analyzing genome dna or rna right here the genome analysis and uh, nucleic acid hybridization contain so three main steps identification measurement and uh, arrangement of genomic features first we should identify then we should measure then we should arrange them as per the respective orders 
right second one the genome analysis has a very crucial role in understanding genomic relationship among species and is a important to systematics evolutionist molecular biologists etc right and uh, the genomic relationship among uh, diploid species and uh, determined as uh, the two factors crossing affinity and uh, chromosome pairing crossing affinity means uh, during meiosis uh, there will be crossing over between the chromosomes of the non the chromatids of the two non sister chromosomes or uh, two non sister chromatids and chromosome pairing during the the leptin zygotin of the meiosis one there will be pairing or a synapsis the synapsis pattern will help in a identification of the plant species right and uh, the dna based molecular markers are uh, applied in various aspects of taxonomy to analyze various things like uh, genetic identity genetic relatedness among populations geographic populations and uh, species and to identify the pedigree of the plant and the fourth one differentiation of among isolated species two species which have been isolated many years back we can differentiate what are the characters developed after many years fifth one phylogenetic structure at various micro and macro levels can be determined by using the molecular structure molecular data right and uh, with this we shall come to the end of this class that is taxonomic evidences we shall discuss many more details in further classes about the systematics or the taxonomy and just from systematics till that keep learning one more thing if you are uh, not yet subscribed to our channel and if you really got benefited from our channel please press on that red colored subscribe button also and uh, press on the bell icon and uh, select the all option so that you will get notification when i upload new video or of the new class till that keep learning take care bye bye